You might think working out is easy, right? Just lift some weights, run on a treadmill, and call it a day. Well, not exactly. There are a lot of common training mistakes that could probably be holding back your progress and prevent you from reaching your fitness goals. And believe me, these are mistakes that even the pros make all the time. That's why I'm here to help you out. I've been through the same struggles, and I want to save you from wasting your time and energy on things that don't work. I want you to see results as fast as possible by focusing on the things that really matter when it comes to working out and ignoring the rest. So in this video, I'm going to show you 10 common training mistakes that you're probably making that are holding you back from getting the results that you deserve. Let's get right into it and start with the most common and costly mistake that both beginners and experienced people make. Number one, working out without a plan. Your body deserves the best workout, but do you know how to give it that? More importantly, do you know what to avoid? One of the worst mistakes you can make is to start a workout without having a clear plan of what you want to achieve and how you're going to do it. A plan provides you with a target and a path to reach your desired result. And if you put in your full effort, you'll surely achieve what you want. As someone who loves fitness, you need to have a specific goal and a consistent routine that aligns with your goal. Whether you want to lose weight, build muscle, or improve your endurance, you need to know what exercises to do, how many sets and reps to perform, and how much rest to take. You also need to track your progress and adjust your plan accordingly. Number two, having too high expectations. Setting unrealistic goals and expecting too much too soon can actually hinder your fitness progress and leave you feeling overwhelmed and unmotivated, ultimately leading to you quitting or giving up your goals. You might think you can transform your body in a matter of weeks or months, but that's not how it works. Fitness is a long-term journey, not a quick fix. You can't expect to see dramatic changes overnight or even in a few weeks. You need to give your body time to adapt and grow. So how can you set achievable goals that will keep you motivated and on track? First, start by establishing a clear and realistic objective. This could be anything from wanting to run a five kilometers hike, being able to do 10 push-ups in a row. Once you have identified a goal, break it down into smaller, more attainable milestones. This will make your goals feel less discouraging and provide a sense of accomplishment as you progress. Number three, neglecting proper warm-up and cool-down. A lot of people skip the warm-up and cool-down phases of their workouts, thinking they're not really that important or they don't have time to do so. But frankly, skipping these activities or not performing them properly can not only decrease your performance, but also lead to injuries. Warming up basically prepares your body for the intended workout by increasing your blood flow, heart rate, and body temperature. It also lubricates your joints, activates your muscles, and improves your range of motion. Cooling down helps your body recover from the workout by lowering your heart rate, blood pressure, and body temperature. It also flushes out the lactic acid, reduces the muscle soreness, and promotes the healing process process. A proper warm-up and cool-down should at least last for up to 10 minutes each and include some dynamic stretches, mobility exercises, and light cardio. Number four, pushing yourself too hard. Most people have been deceived into believing that the more they train, the better the results they will get. So much so they try to lift heavier weights, run faster, or do more reps than they can actually handle. They think that pain is gain and that they need to push themselves to the limit every time. But that's quite the opposite. Pushing yourself too hard can actually backfire and hurt your results. You'll end up overloading your muscles, joints, and nervous system, which can lead to injuries, fatigue, and even burnout. You'll also compromise your form, which can reduce the effectiveness of your exercises and increase the risk of injury. Number five, not engaging the right muscles groups. That's right, you might be wasting your time and energy on exercises that are not engaging the muscles you want. For example, when you do chest presses, are you feeling it in your chest or your shoulders? When you do crunches, are you feeling it in your abs or your hip flexors? When you do squats, are you feeling it in your glutes or your lower back? If you're not engaging the right muscle groups, you're not only missing out on the benefits of your exercises, but you're also risking an uneven distribution of weight and strain on the wrong muscles, which can cause injury and limited gains. You're also risking poor posture and chronic pain. That's why you need to learn how to activate and isolate the muscles you want to work and avoid using the muscles you don't. Number six, forgetting to take breaks. 
breaks. To some people, taking breaks during workouts is a sign of weakness or laziness. As a matter of fact, they end up doing one exercise after another without any pause or rest, thinking that this will make them burn more calories, build more muscle, or improve their endurance. But what they fail to realize is that taking breaks during workouts is not only important, but essential. It's what allows your muscles to recover, heal, and grow stronger. Taking breaks is not a sign of weakness, but of wisdom, as they help you avoid burnout, injury, and mental fatigue. Without proper break taking, you're putting yourself at risk, exposing your body to unnecessary stress and strain, which can lead to inflammation, pain, and damage. You're also limiting your progress, as your muscles won't have enough time to adapt and improve. Number seven, lacking motivation and support. Let's be honest here, a lot of people struggle with staying motivated and consistent with their workout routine. It can be quite frustrating when you know you should be working out but can't find the right drive or motivation to do so. In fact, a recent research has shown 50% of fitness enthusiasts give up on their dreams of getting fit and healthy within the first six months, maybe due to the fact that they find it hard to get motivated to work out. They might start with a lot of enthusiasm and determination today, but sooner or later they begin to lose interest and eventually give up on their goals. Number eight, neglecting your diet. You've probably heard that you are what you eat, but do you know how much your diet affects your fitness goals? You might be surprised to learn that what you eat or drink after working out can make or break your results. Some people think that working out is enough to get the results they want. They don't pay attention to what they eat or drink, thinking they can eat whatever they want as long as they exercise. They might eat too much, too little, or the wrong things. They might skip meals, binge eat, or even follow fad diets. Number nine, being inconsistent. Do you ever start a new workout or diet plan only to give up after a few days or weeks? Well, we've all been there. Staying consistent with your workout and diet plan is one of the biggest challenges that most people face. Life gets in the way, you lose motivation, or you find excuses to skip a session or indulge in a cheap meal. But here's the thing, inconsistency kills your results and affects your confidence. You won't see any results if you don't stick to your plan, no matter how good it is. That's why it's vital to stay committed and focused on your workouts and your diet routine. Number 10, avoiding corrective feedback. Feedback is your friend, not your enemy. It can help you improve your fitness and your nutrition routine. But some people are too scared or stubborn to get feedback on their workouts and their diet. They think they have it all figured out, or they don't want to deal with any negative criticism, and as such, they don't even bother asking for help, advice, or guidance. This is a big mistake. If you avoid feedback, you limit your potential and your progress. You won't know what you're doing right or wrong or how to do it better. Trust me, seek out feedback from people who are better than you, such as a trainer, a coach, a nutritionist, or a friend. Listen to and appreciate their feedback even if it's hard to hear. And most importantly, you need to act on their feedback and make the necessary changes. That's how you grow and improve. And that's it for this video. I hope you learned something new and useful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more fitness tips and tricks. Also, let me know in the comments below what other topics you want me to cover in the future.